Hello! In this video, we'll look at using MQTT nodes in Node-RED to communicate with an MQTT broker. I'll place a link to my video that goes over installing the MQTT broker on the Raspberry Pi right over here somewhere. So with that, let's get started. We'll start by dragging in a couple of MQTT nodes. We'll put in an MQTT in node, as well as an MQTT out node. MQTT revolves around an MQTT broker. In between these is the MQTT server that we installed in a previous video. The MQTT out node is a publisher. And it takes information that comes from previous nodes and then sends it on to the MQTT server. The MQTT server will then go through the clients that have subscribed to a particular topic and send the messages on. On this side is our MQTT subscriber. Before we begin to configure this MQTT node, notice this triangle. When we hover over it, it tells us there's some invalid properties. There's a missing topic and a missing broker. So we'll double click this. And here we need to add a new MQTT broker. So we'll click on the edit. And we can call this whatever we want, but I'll call it Raspy Broker. Now notice this in red, this server. This particular instance of Node Red is running locally on a Raspberry Pi. The Mosquito MQTT server is also running on the Raspberry Pi. So both of these applications are actually running on the same machine. So in that instance, for the server, we can just put in localhost. We can leave the rest of this blank and then click on Add. Now notice the topic here is surrounded by a red frame. We need to fill this in with something. And because this is a subscriber, this is going to listen for a particular topic to come through. And when that particular topic is seen by the broker, it'll send it over here to the subscriber. So we'll just type in test. We can change QoS to zero. We can talk about that in another video. So we'll click on done. So now we have our subscriber set. Now let's go over here and take a look at our publisher. Again, there's some missing information we need to put in a broker. So we'll double click this. The Raspi broker has been automatically filled in as we just created this broker a few minutes ago on the subscriber node. So we'll leave topic blank. As you can see here, leave topic, QS, or retain blank if you want to set them via message properties, which is what we're going to do in just a minute. Now that we have this configured, we'll go ahead and click on Done. So let's scroll up and we'll add a debug node over on this side. Wire it up. And on this side, we'll add an inject node. Wire that up. So remember that the subscriber on this side is listening for a topic that is called test. So in this inject node, the message.topic will set to test. And then for the payload, we'll just set a string that says hello and then click Done. So we're going to inject a message using the test topic and the payload being hello. We're going to send it out to the MQTT broker. The broker will look and see which subscribers have subscribed to the topic test and then send that along. So this should receive it and then send it out to the debug node. So we click Deploy. Now we'll go ahead and click this button on the inject node. And you can see that the message made it through. And here's our hello. 
So again, MQTT, there's a subscriber that's listening for a particular topic. When that topic comes across from a publisher, the broker will send it on. So let's dive into this a little bit more. Let's copy these two nodes and then we'll paste them right under. And we will change this topic by putting a lowercase t here and then click done. What we're doing here is testing to see is this case sensitive or not. So we'll clear this, click on deploy, and then inject. As you can see, the only message that came through was from this particular debug node. Nothing came out through here. So we know that MQTT is case sensitive, at least on the Raspberry Pi. Let's scoot this over just a bit. All right, we'll copy this section and paste it in. And we'll change this topic to be a lowercase t. We'll also change this hello to be a lowercase hello so we can see the difference. Now, I don't necessarily need that node. We can just connect it like this. So we'll click Deploy, clean the trash a little. And now we'll click this node. And you can see we got our hello. And if you look around the edges of this particular debug node, when I'm over here hovering, you can see this the orange dash lines letting me know that this message came from this particular debug node. So now when I click on this inject node, we get the capital hello, and you can see it came from this particular node. Let's take a look at another interesting part of MQTT in Node Red. We'll copy this message, paste, And this time, the topic, we're going to add a slash, and then we'll just type in subtest. What we're doing here is defining subtopics. So our main topic is test, and then with the slash, we can then define a subtopic. So we'll go ahead and click on Done. Wire that to there. Click on Deploy. Clear the log. So I'll go ahead and click on this and see if there's any output. And there's no output at all. That's because this topic is test slash subtest. And none of these subscribers are listening for this exact string. So we could go in, again, do a copy paste. We'll edit this node and we'll say test slash subtest. Click on Done, Deploy. So now when we click here, we'll see this hello coming from these nodes right here. You are able to create subtopics and kind of create a tree and branch system of names if that's what you'd like to do. Let's take a look at one more component of this. And again, we'll copy these and paste them. We'll double click this to edit it. So instead of listing an exact subtopic, we can put in a wildcard. Now for MQTT, the pound sign is the wildcard. What we're saying here is that for any subtopic that begins with the topic test, this particular subscriber will get that message. So we'll click on done and then deploy. In the case of our test slash subtest, when I click this, we get two responses. The first coming from this exact match. As you can see, this message payload has got the orange dashed line around it, as well as 
this debug node is also displaying information because this matched. Again, we're using this pound as a wildcard. So anything that has a test slash, this would respond. Let's clear this and let's see what happens when we do the lowercase test. Again, this matched and this also matched. Let's clear this. If we do the capital test, there's only one match, and that's this top one right here. On the debug nodes, you can also click these buttons, which disables that particular debug node. So when I click deploy, so let's, let's clear this first. So when I click this test, there's no output. When I click this test, the only output we're getting is from this node right here. Actually, let's clear this. We'll click this one. And you can see there's just one output, and that's from this one. All these others are off, and so won't be responding. I'll go ahead and turn them back on. Clear this and deploy. Well, that sums it up for this video. I hope this helped clear up how Node-RED and MQTT can work together using the MQTT in and out nodes. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.